Hi everybody. Okay, so this is a, a controversial one. And uh, so first of all, this is the um, spiritual alphabet. And we are at the letter C now. And you know, you might expect me to say something like compassion or consciousness <laughs> or courage or something like that. But I'm going to present a controversial term, um, which I think is probably deeply uh resonant maybe with some of us watching this and others will not find it resonant and that's okay you can stop watching this video at any time and the concept is celibacy um in the more religious context it might be called chastity but i use the term celibacy as a more neutral term and um it's controversial because it seems like we live in um uh, our society, modern society, is very sexual, um, very sex positive, which I think has its benefits. It, um, you know, allows people to stop repressing uh, certain desires that have been for thousands of years, perhaps. I don't know. Um, and yet, the way that society often goes is we tend to swing from one end of the spectrum to the other end of the spectrum. And it seems to me, again, this is controversial and you can disagree with me if you want to. It seems to me that we at least, okay, I'll say this, at least in Western society and especially on social media where I live, you know, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm on Instagram actively and, you know, um, other other social medias, but particularly Instagram is very sexual, very, very sex positive, right? And so that's my observation is that we, we may have possibly swung a lot of people um, or society overall, and this Hollywood media, you know, there's, there's a lot of sexual expression in TV shows and movies. Um, it's, we've, swung, we've swung a lot in, you know, out of repression into expression extremely so um even kids it's hard to to keep it from from children these days right so this is where and i'm going to make this a shorter video because i don't know whether this is relevant to to people i'm just going to share i'm going to share a few quotes with you and i'm going to share some thoughts on if you are in a period of life okay where you know whether you're young or old and, and particularly these two periods of life, um, it, it, you, you might be involuntarily celibate. Now, there's a really, uh, there's a very controversial term called incel that's out there, which is really related to, it typically references, you know, angry young men who uh, can't get, can't get a girlfriend and can't, can't have sex because they, you know, no one seems to be attracted to them. And so they're angry, they're on the internet, they're on places like 4chan and things like that. And, and they're, they're labeled incels. I don't know if they label themselves or other people label them. And, and uh, they're known to be aggressive. And, um, and it's, it's sad because I think it's in part to an, a, a very sexualized society. And because they see all these images and uh, you know, they, they feel like they're missing out they become angry that um, they can't have that. And I, I just, it's not like I'm, that's not my target audience. But I guess I could see my, I could see a younger version of myself in there. Um, I'm happily married now, um, but I could definitely see, I, I, I wish this message I could give to them or, or to those who are older or whatever, whatever aspect of life, maybe people who are, um, yeah, what, whatever situation in life, requires maybe consciously or involuntarily that they be celibate this message is for them for you possibly um even in, in many marriages are celibate really right and so why not take it consciously and take it as a spiritual practice as a personal creativity practice so what do i mean by that there are spiritual traditions um particularly in the in the east like taoism and um and buddhism hinduism that talk about 
um, channeling one's sexual energy towards personal creativity and towards divine connection. Actually, they're talking about divine connection, but in these this day and age, it's also talked about channeling it towards creative endeavors instead of um, suppressing it or feeling bad that one can't express it that express oneself that way or whatever. It can be channeled, and it can be a very powerful source of channeling. In fact, and in most of this, the religious spiritual texts about this is talking about channeling that towards divine union, right? Um, and so anyway, I'm really curious if anyone has anything else you want to say about this. But let me share with you a couple of quotes that might be interesting to, to, to consider. Okay, so I'll start with Henry David Thoreau, American essayist. Uh, he wrote, Chastity... Again, chastity is the old, old version of celibacy, right? The old, same, same idea. Chastity, which is refrain from sexual expression, sexual behavior. Chastity is the flowering of man. The flowering of man. And what are called genius, heroism, holiness, and the like are but various fruits which succeed it, which come after chastity. Amazing. Wow. I can't, never thought of, uh, you know, didn't know Thoreau said that. And again, this suggest the the channeling of oneself towards creativity towards virtue um from from that sort of like whatever chakra sex chakra you know up uh, upwards um next quote this is from samuel Aun weor who is a colombian spiritual teacher uh he wrote in order to achieve true spiritual illumination one must extinguish the false light of sexual desire. Interesting. Again, connecting spiritual illumination to spiritual, uh, sexual restraint, basically, or channeling that. Um, in this case, it's restraining that. Um, okay, next quote is from a Russian Orthodox priest named St. John of Kronstadt. And he said, The foundation of the spiritual life is chastity, and the light of chastity is the perception of God. Again, you know, talking about channeling that energy towards divine perception, divine union, essentially. Next quote is from Jainism, Jain, the, the religion Jainism, from Lord Mahavira. Okay, And he wrote or said, The practice of celibacy is the supreme conduct. It is the most exalted of all austerities. And it's also uh, known, and I don't have the quote here, but I think Buddha, or I think Buddha said that basically sexual temptation is the the, the most difficult uh, for 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 at least for for males for men, it's the most difficult of all the temptations, and it's the it's the one that's hardest uh, to overcome on the road to enlightenment. Buddha said something like that. You can quote, uh, you can put that quote below if you know what that is. Next quote is from. The Mahatma Gandhi, okay, Gandhi, said, Chastity is the cement of civilization and progress. What? Really? Chastity is the cement of civilization and progress. Without it, there would be no stability in society. And without it, one cannot attain the science of life. Okay. I don't know what he's talking about there. I got to look at more into that, but that, that is a quote that I found. Um, okay. Next quote is from... Swami Sivananda, famous Hindu spiritual teacher, who said, Celibacy is a means of purification of mind and attainment of spiritual enlightenment. It is a means, not an end in itself. And I think that is what I'm trying to get at here. It's not, it's not that um, celibacy is, is right for everybody, obviously, right? It is, and it, it not, it's not right for everybody for all, all of life. It could be for certain periods of life that we commit to that. We dedicate ourselves to that. And then other periods of life, we are fully sexually expressed or whatever. Um, but it can be a useful means towards our personal creativity and spiritual growth. Okay, final quote is from Sigmund Freud, who wrote, Sublimation is a way of dealing with the anxieties and tensions of reality by finding an outlet for them in creative activity. Sublimation, based on Freud, is about not just expressing every impulse that you have, especially aggressive impulses, sexual impulses. You just don't, don't just express them, because that would be 
that well that's not good for society it's not good for your own life but if you if you practice channeling it towards creative activity that's a very useful way of dealing with it so anyway i have been uh, practicing this myself in the past week at least just to dedicate myself to a week of that and i do find it to be it, it does help for me anyway to focus the mind and to um reflect and and become more empowered in my spirituality by by just noticing those impulses and then channeling them towards a different way so anyway i hope this video is interesting <laughs> at the very least and i look forward to seeing if you have any comments below if you have any anything you want to say about your own personal experience of it you're welcome to but just remember your comments below are public and um i hope this helps somebody out there so thank you for watching and thanks for joining me on this journey